Buenas noches. Welcome back to another episode of the BBM Podcast, your favorite podcast in the world. And we're back, baby. We're back with another episode. It's a brand new year, brand new you, same old me, same old you, same things. You know what I mean? Nothing changes. We're still sucking and we're going to keep on trucking, you know, because it is what it is, how it is. Uh, imagine just for a second that, just imagine, just for a second, imagine the baddest mother trucker you ever seen in your life. You know, he's a retired serviceman from whatever branch you can imagine. Whatever branch your favorite branch, that's the branch. He's the baddest of them all, right? He instilled fear into people. Imagine this character. We're going to give him the name JD. JD instilled fear onto men. The kind of fear that that the royals from England instilled in Meghan Markle. She's like, I've been in many movies. I ain't going to be the first one to die in this family. This family is a little fucked up. So that kind of fear, this guy instilled amongst bat mother truckers too, right? He he lived, he tr- thrived in stealing fear in people's lives. Where it is, uh, he was uncommon amongst uncommon man he was the the warrior the superhero six two jacked to the tits to the tit he was jacked but this person had demons and when this person has demons and they bury them deep inside they have to manifest themselves in some shape or form and this guy's demons were manifesting themselves through what some of us will call I don't I don't think what some of us will call I think most of us will call kinks he was dark he was feared by man but the one thing that just took him for a spin that he couldn't control that he needed to have you know in order to breathe it's like sending him to Iraq again with no weapons with no knee n- nothing no grenades no Rocket launchers, no AR-15s, no knife, no handgun, no boots, no helmet, nothing. Without this, he felt empty. He needed this in his life. So this badass man you're picturing right now, right? He is, whatever is in your mind, whatever I'm trying to make you imagine, imagine that. Don't let go of that. That's a man. But every man has their demons. And some of us... Ride our demons and some of us let the demon ride us. You know what I'm saying? So this badass man, his preferred demon of choice had to be under four four foot eleven. He will set him up on a dresser, a six eight drawer dresser, put him on top and have them jump on his genitalia over and over. What I could imagine, I don't know if I want to imagine whether he was aroused whether this whether this kink is psychological physical i don't care about that because nothing's funnier than watching this six foot six jacked jd superhero getting stumped over and over with little people on top of him but this is not where i met this guy i met him in a different point of his life and this encounter i had was to say the least, the epic encounter. To me, how I view the world is that. I view... That's... It was like a clear picture of how I view people. And I didn't understand why. But if you stick around, I'm going to try to explain. You know what I mean? So we're going to get into it. Welcome back. This is the BPM podcast. We're coming back to you with like the Marines. You know what I mean? We don't quit. We just keep on going. Make sure you follow me on YouTube. Make sure you uh, spread this around. Uh, uh, like it on sh- on Spotify, Apple, every wherever you listen to. Make sure you share it. Put it out there. Put, repost it. 
do me a solid and help a brother out. You know what I'm saying? So with that, whew, that's a crazy uh, intro if you ever heard one before, right? Um, let me write something down before I forget. So that person that you're imagining, it's all of that that I just said, I made it up in my head. The encounter was real. I like to go on morning walks like uh, like a luti, you know, a luti. Um, a luti uh, in the mornings I'm walking just to see what kind of animals I live around. You know what I mean? What kind of savages. And let me tell you, there's some good people around my neighborhood. There's some bad people around this neighborhood. You know what I mean? There's a lot of. There's a lot of nonsense going around. But at this time, I'm wandering far away from home. Like, you know, like Simba at the end of Lion King. I was just wandering off into the darkness. Um, but I'm past a couple streets, major streets, you know, through the neighborhood. I just, you know, through the neighborhoods, I just walk around. And I see this guy on a wheelchair. Walking a dog. Bitch, that ain't walking. That ain't walking the dog. He rolling with the dog, and in my hair they see me rolling. They're hating, right? I'm that's but I'm far enough away to where I don't know where this guy's gonna go right or left. We're about to cross paths. He's on the left side of the street, I'm on the right side of the street, and I'm heading south. Think about that. I'm heading south. We're we're about to bump each other, right? Uh, and there's some numerous, like, there's two streets on this side, and there's one street on my side. But my street, the street on my side is a little bit further to me than the first street to him. So I don't know, maybe he's going to make a left or a right or whatever. He doesn't. He keeps going straight, and I'm like, I'm cool, you know what I mean? I'm just listening to music, and I'm walking. And I see the dog kind of go around him he was on his right side and he kind of he was on the sidewalk and he was on the street rolling with his you know with his apparatus um dog kind of goes behind him but stays behind him but he can see me too he's like bitch you try some i'll fucking bite your head off right and remember this guy st instills fear this guy is fear amongst men that are fearless He's got that kind of guy. And he kind of goes for me, kind of does one of those, pops his head around, like up and looks at me and is like, what the fuck are you? Who are you? You know what I mean? And the guy goes, hey. And the dog is like, huh, no. I'm, I'm I, he's like, I'm listening to you, but this motherfucker about to do something. Look at him, right? And he, he kind of like takes a couple of steps forward and he's about, 50 yards away when this happens, maybe, right? And then he really goes for it. And the guy goes, hey. And the dog looks at him. He's like, eh, whatever. Fuck off. And he's about halfway between me and the guy. And the guy goes, hey, right? Hey. And the dog put his head down, turned the fuck around, went to his right side, and like, Ask for forgiveness. He's like, sorry, master, I fucked up. That guy right there, I've never seen in my life, but that story I just told you, it was him. That type of fear I encountered today. That dog, because that guy could, if that dog says fuck off, he's gone. He's going to leave you in the dust. But that dog is raised on fear. That dog was, was, Scared for his life right there. I was like, oh, shit. Motherfucker about to fuck him up. Maybe he makes him jump on top of him, too. But that's how I envision people when I first meet people. When I first, there's got to be something that 
that sparks my interest towards you as a person, as a whole. Not as like, oh, you like what I like. Good, we're friends. That's cool and all, but like I, I gotta find a uniqueness in you for me to be I don't know, interested or or I don't know if the word is interested. But wh why I ask myself oftentimes why do I do that? What why can I just like pass a stranger and not make a story about that person what is that is that psychological or physical you tell me we all got some type of disorder and i think mine is a little psychological i'm a little cuckoo in the head i think of shit that i shouldn't even be thinking about that i, I don't even say to no one and so people think that i go over the line a little bit too often but I dial it down. I don't know. Like I, I have this this thing that should. I guess it's. I don't know if it's a principle or it's a. Whatever I think. I think it is. It, I think that we should be able to discuss everything. And a discussion is it's, it's important for. Both sides, not trying to change your side of the, your point of view on, on the on the subject. I'm just trying to see where it comes from, how it is developed, that way, because it's very interesting to develop a, a different points of view, right? Because it, it 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 all entangles itself to, to who you are, to who who you are, and what you live through, right? There's some people out here that are fucking hard. And just because that guy was in a wheelchair, he still does it. Like, that fear he instilled that in that dog is for reals. Like, that dog, know, he knew he fucked up. So, however, he views the world now because he is essentially bound to his chair. Because it seems like he was an active. He looks not a, a bad person, a bad guy. He just looks like now this is his life. Because what else would you get a dog if you're in a wheelchair? That's kind of fucked up for the dog. You know what I mean? So now he's like, buddy, we're going to ride this out together. One more jump, and I tell you, I'm out. You know what I mean? So you got to take it easy. I'm going to clip your nails tonight, son, because <laughs> I'm going to rub peanut butter all over my body, <laughs> and I can't go anywhere, so eh, have at me. Sorry. You know, but you see what I'm saying? I can go so many ways because it's fun for me. It's fun to, like, do that. And then they show them real sex, and I get disappointed. I'm like, ah, you're not fucking, you're a straight-edge person. I just like to build side stories to your matrix already. I can, I'm giving you options. Think about this. I'm giving you options to where you could be doing, where you could be doing. I'm like, this is crazy, right? If, it, if I was from the future, which I'm not, but I claim I am. Because I'm a little crazy. So, if I'm picturing all the scenarios, imagine that that is a reality somewhere else with that same guy. Like, I'm describing his, re his reality. Same person, same dog, same everything, but just with what I added to it. Maybe this guy just goes on walks and drinks coffee, and reads the paper, and that's it. And maybe he's he's lazy and he don't want to walk, and he actually walks. Right? So I'm just – this reality, almost like it matters, but what's the other reality? Where does that idea – is that just me being crazy? I got so many questions about why do I have like – and it's not like – Oh, I'm going to write it down. I'm going to build this story. It just like it comes and like like it just enters my mind. It's like ideas just like, oh, this guy, you know, like and I start doing this this puzzle thing. It's like I'm putting a piece together here. Oh, and like words just come out and I end up with a backstory that's not real. 
but it could be real if it's a, in another multi another universe, right? I don't know. That subject is complicated um, in and of its own. In and of its own. But because I'm puzzled sometimes about it doesn't happen with everyone I meet. It only happens with certain individuals. And I don't know what those individuals have in common for me to like be allowed to like build those stories. Like it, I don't like, oh, I'm going to build a story about you. No, it has to come. It has to like, it builds its own. And it's almost like, I sound like a fucking psychopath right now. I realize I sound psychotic, but this is exactly how I feel and how I like. It, it doesn't matter how I feel. My feelings don't matter, but this is what what happens in my brain. This is what's happened. I'm explaining to you what happens in my brain from what I can understand without, you know, doing any research or anything and what have you. But this is re really interesting. Because it happens, I did notice something though. When I do not eat for a couple of days, because I, I can go a couple of days without actually eating, eating. I'll drink some coffee, I'll snack on a piece of bread, and the next morning I'll drink some more coffee and a little bit of bread, and I'm good. Because I like to perform my daily duties sometimes thinking that I have to earn my food. And sometimes I forget to fucking eat it after I earned it. You're not so it, it's been feeling like eating is a a task. Like I don't want to eat. You know what I mean? Like it's crazy. The craziest thing like I have like these crazy ideas about food but like I'm like I don't want to eat that. I don't want to it, it's this bizarre feeling that I've been experiencing. But I think that's because the stress I'm a, uh, I undertake in the many facets of my life, whether it's working, personal, whatever that is, it, it, it I tend to like hold it in a lot. So in order for me to escape, see, I'm trying to diagnose myself. In order for me to escape, I build stories on people I meet on the road or on the side, uh, on the sideline of the of the games or what you know what I'm saying, you know. So like. Building those stories for people, I've always done it since I was a little kid, but I never, it was never pointed out to me that, like, I was, all I wanted was somebody to laugh. Like, I wanted laughter as a token of appreciation. Like, I don't want you to tell me you appreciate me, just laugh. And I'm good enough. Like, I know I'm good enough to make you laugh. That's all I need. I don't need nothing else. Your laughter is good for you and it's good for me. And I've been denying myself that because I'm so... Uh, I can blur the line. I push it too forward. And, I, and I've, ha I've had hurt people's feelings. And that's not what I want to do. I don't want to hurt you your feelings. I want you to... Be happy that it has nothing to do with me. So I have to find a way to how to do it. And it's a big hurdle for me. And I think it's how I show my appreciation towards a person. If I mess, mess around with, with like, uh, like jokes or, or, Just being funny with each other, I, I appreciate you because, like, that's how I show love, I guess. I don't know. It, it's it's complicated because I make people laugh sometimes, and they're, they're like, you know what I mean? They're, their laughter doesn't matter to me. That's not what I was looking. I was looking. Sometimes I look for the shock. Like, oh, shit, he said that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, but I don't know why I do that. But trying to understand myself is... It's like that dog, you know what I mean? I know I want to do things, but when I do, I feel bad. And I'm like, fuck, even though it felt good, but after I'm done, they feel bad. Or like you follow your instinct and then your instinct is wrong or you miscalculate it. 
it's all about you you like how I said that word, huh? I didn't even say it right, but you know, it's gonna be on recording forever because that's what we are, you know what I mean? We are we 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 just but that's the, the, the beauty of being awake. Like the beauty of being awake to to realize like, hey, we need to fix some shit around you. And if you don't want to fix it, that's cool and all. But that story that I built has been living in my head for a couple of weeks now. It didn't just happen, but it's been living in my head. And I wonder why. I wonder why I did register all of that and it stayed in storage. Like I, I've built shit all the time in my head about other people. And it's in the moment, and it just goes away. I never say, I never, I never think about it again. But that's a, that's a very interesting fact. That I'm willing to, I don't know. I don't know if the word rejoice in it is, the, I'm willing to bask or or or, or to, accept it and 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 and, and do something with it. I guess so. With that, my friends, you know what I mean? I'll leave you guys to be. So, follow me on YouTube, Spotify, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. All the links are going to be down below. So, check me out. Bye-bye.